All right, no handouts documenting to come up because ain't nobody on you shit. We back nobody. again. Back again. Just want to um, thank y'all for the support. Always subscribe. Make sure y'all like and comment as well. Um, we just come up with some new stuff. First and foremost, we want to introduce like the new logo yep. or the new movement called New 11. And pretty much um, the symbol or the initial NE, it stands for like a couple different things, but uh, the NE is New 11 and that's pretty much, um, it comes from two separate lines. So one is the Drake line where it says, um, I'm the one twice over, I'm the new, new 11. 11. And it's uh, another line from Fame which says, we the ones, we just gotta even out the odds. Yep. And pretty much it's just, uh, it's just us doubling up on our work ethic, you know? Um, you know you the one in whatever aspect of life that you're pursuing. You just gotta go two times as hard. So New 11, that's how we coming. Let's get it. Um, so this episode of uh, No Handouts, uh, two things occurred. We was in the studio with Sullivan. Um, shout out to Sullivan, yeah, shout man. Out to Sullivan. Amazing dude, man. Great, great, great working with him, man. Shout out to Sullivan. Make sure yeah, I hit him up on SoundCloud. He's actually releasing a beat every day for the summer. So yeah. if you're an upcoming artist or even you just a producer and just like to connect with other producers, Sullivan is the guy. So check him out on SoundCloud, Sullivan Beats. Yeah, so we had a chance to finally meet him. Anybody that that's really a true fan of Fame and P.I.C. know a lot of our beats come from Sullivan. Um, we met him on SoundCloud and then we had a chance to really meet him in person. So that was dope. The next thing we went to like a, it was kind of like a Q&A and a performance for Coda the Friend. Um, you guys should check out his music. He dropped a project recently called Photo. And that was pretty dope. Um, but he had like a dope performance and dope Q and A with N N Nadeska from Everyday Struggle. So if y'all hit the Everyday Struggle on Complex, um, Nadesta was there in interviewing him. So it was a lot of gems that he was dropping as far as being an independent artist. So yeah. In addition to that, man, always, always, you already know what time it is, man. Girls Who Travel is on all platforms, so make sure you stream that. It's going up on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, anywhere where you stream music, man, it's there. So make sure you check it out. That, that's our latest project. Mm -hmm. um, and then just also make sure to follow us on social media. My uh, Instagram is, my Instagram and Twitter is at F-A-M-E underscore any. And I'm at P.C underscore N-E. That's P-D-O-T-C underscore N-E. Let's get it. Def definitely. No handouts. Hey, Sullivan Beats here. Shout to fam and P.C. No handouts. That's what, what, what I thought. Because I was trying to go, like, you know, the last time you were here, and it was like, you know, let's just stay in Brooklyn. Because Brooklyn was cool. So. Dude, that was a fun spot. Yeah. That Mexican place. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting lit, man. Those, those drinks we got were fucking yeah. dangerous. <laughs> Jeez. Definitely. I was trying to link up, but my man here is freaking dying on the train. I'm like, I can't. To be fair, I was drunk as shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Tap in, niggas gon' tap in, whoa. Need the first half in the back end, yeah. Shorty, when she pull up, tell her back in. Bet you can't guess what it happened, uh. Tap in, niggas gon' tap in, whoa. RP Craig, I be back in, yeah. Bad boy, really, they be acting, uh. And I'm on point, never lacking, uh. Yeah. Tap in, niggas gon' tap in, whoa. Swain thinking that I'm Batman, no. Told Shorty running from the back end, oh. All I need is lights, camera, action. Young dude, I'm coming from all exits. Not really deep as me and I. Uh -huh. <laughs> no handouts, you got some of them in the bag. <laughs> Recording parts of Hail Mary. <laughs> Let me hit though. That's why I nigga. K 
killing MCs for a hobby. Them people don't want war. You with it? We all out. They say they got the respect. Really, it's all clout. Uh. Well, I'm from only your pockets getting double tapped. If you got what I want, homie, you running that. Running that. It's all clout. Uh. Where I'm from, only your pockets getting double tapped. If you got what I want, homie, you running that. Running last for that moment, you got a double back. We the ones, no 11, you gotta double that. Double that, your shorty is up to something. No, she wanna see the kid and I bust ain't give her nothing. Word play, you heard me, it's too early. Your team wanna rise. Let's show a lot of love right now to Koda. He's gonna perform a song for us called Nola. Hey, what's up, guy? How you doing? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of feel like I'm about to give a TED talk. <laughs> it's real crazy of it, but um, shout out to E Madonna, shout out to the desk, shout out to Apple Music, Apple's though, make some noise one time for them. Like the club, but you can stay up, grab a cup on just a two that's from New York. Yeah, he fit in my trunk. Took a minute, but I'm lit now. My city show me love. Brooklyn, spread the love. Get your funds. Used to take the G and now we count them all. Broke a lot of hearts and all that I can say was I was young. Call me on my jack. All my homies really got my back. Shorty got my heart. So I promise her that I'll be back. If it feel like Love. Little homie, then it's probably that If you got a feeling, she a daddy, yo, she probably that Too much in my head, I ain't got no time Gotta get this bread, yeah, gotta get this one yeah. Don't bring up no drama when you hit me on my line If it ain't the comments on my mama, it's the climb Too much in my head, my head, I ain't produced his entire album which completely blows my mind and um, he's kind of a creative genius he probably won't say that himself so when he was young he started playing trumpet right then you taught yourself how to play keyboard guitar bass right and then started making beats yeah, yeah. that's a little bit ridiculous to be honest um, what made you actually want to start producing your own beats um, just it was just another creative avenue you know what I mean another thing that I could try out and I wanted to kind of like at a point, I was just trying anything, so beats was like the next thing. I learned how to play instruments, put it all together, make it beats, so. Was there anyone you were inspired by growing up in terms of producers? Um, for real, definitely. I made like 300 beats, you know what I mean? Like, oh, like, wow. like just not even fully finished, but that's 300 ideas, you know what I mean? Where it's just like, I started, I started it, I got halfway through it, I set it aside because that's kind of what I do. Like I set it aside and I come back to it the next day. But the, but I'll finish two tracks in a day. You know what I mean? And like, I, when I, sometimes I go back to it. I'm like, that's the one. You know what I mean? But when I was making it, it was just another idea. You know? And so I kind of like, I kind of look at producing as like sculpting. You know? Like you start off with like a, a block. You know what I mean? Like you start off with like an ice sculpture. So like you start off with a block of ice and you chip away at it. And it starts making more sense the more, all right, now I see this detail, now I see this, oh, I hear this now, I see this, you know? I just kind of throw it into the music, you know? I don't think about it, like, um, there's always something to talk about. Life is so vast, and I feel like the more you understand that, the more stuff you'll have to write about it. I feel like once you put a, um, a cap on your life, and you put a cap on the world, the universe, then you kind of get pigeonholed, and you're like, yo, what do I write about? Like, I feel like some of these, some, some people, like, that's why people can only make a couple albums because it's like, I, this is what I do. I rap about girls and money and, or even, you know, I'm, I just rap about woke stuff. I just rap about woke stuff. Like, all I want to do is be woke, you know? <laughs> and so they, you hit a ceiling like that, you know, because there's so much to rap about. Like, I could rap about girls in a song. I could rap, there's so many ways to rap about a girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many, there's so many ways to rap about everything, bro. Like, so it's just like, I don't think about it as one way. I don't think I have to talk about one thing, you know? I don't have to make one kind of beat. I don't have to always be OD woke. I don't have to be this, you know, young king. Like, I don't gotta do that. You know, I could, you could be whatever you want, yo. You could be a trap star one minute. You could be, you know, you could go take it straight boom bap. You could go straight jazz or 
you know, I'm a musician, you know, I don't like, I don't put those labels on me. So it's just, there's so much to talk about. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's it crazy. Another question, or is it, a, or is it one more question? Here? Last question. Dakota, hey, my name is Vassar, I'm a producer. Uh, my question is, what do you think about tight beats on YouTube and stuff like that? Tight beats? Oh, I used to use mad tight beats on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, for the first time, for the first couple um, projects I did for anything and for Paloma Beats, I used a lot of tight beats. Because I just simply, I, I can't even stress it enough. I just don't care what people think, what people say. If a beat sounds good, I'm gonna use it. And I used, I went to YouTube when I didn't have a lot of resources and I didn't have a lot of time. And I went to YouTube and I found people, very talented people all over the world that were making beats. And so I would just, I didn't care that, I don't, I still don't care that 10,000 people have the same beat using it because nobody's gonna do it like me. You know what I'm saying? And that's not even being cocky, that's just being an artist. Is that nobody's gonna finesse a beat the way I do it just because I write different. I, I'm, I'm gonna say things different. I'm gonna turn that beat into my own thing. And so like, tight beats, I feel like it's a really good tool to start, you know? To, it's a really good place to start your music career. And it works both ways because if the song does really well, then that producer gets a lot of buzz. You know what I mean? And at some point, that producer will start getting real money off of those songs.